Google powers some of the most widely used services in the world. Search, YouTube, Gmail, ads, and more. Every day, billions of users rely on these platforms. Keeping them updated and reliable means managing a code base that spans billions of lines of code. This kind of engineering challenge is handled with a unified strategy involving a monorepo and Blaze. Interestingly, Google isn't alone. Companies like Facebook have also adopted similar monorepo approaches to streamline development. But why did Google choose the system and how does it actually work? Google's monorepo is a centralized repository that stores the entire Google codebase, a deliberate engineering decision aimed at enabling unparalleled collaboration and efficiency. So why a monorepo over multiple repositories or micro-repos? Well, all teams work from the same source of truth, which avoids fragmentation across projects. Also, shared libraries are centrally maintained and prevents version mismatches. The monorepo also supports contributions from thousands of engineers worldwide, so scalability is built in. And as of 2015, since I couldn't find a more recent statistic, Google's monorepo managed approximately 86 terabytes of data, including 1 billion files and 35 million commits over 18 years. But to build and test billions of lines of code, Google relies on Blaze, which is its internally developed build system. The open source counterpart of Blaze that you might be familiar with is known as Bazel. And Blaze is designed for extreme scalability and performance, tailored to meet Google's unique set of challenges. But how does Blaze handle such a massive workload? Blaze uses a Merkle tree structure to track dependencies and changes, which ensures only affected components are rebuilt, and this is the concept of incremental builds. Builds are not only incremental, but they're also hermetic. This means that builds are isolated from the host environment and guarantees reproducibility. So if we look at the Merkle tree structure, the leaf nodes represent individual files, which are hashed using SHA-1. The intermediate nodes combine hashes of the child nodes and forms a hierarchy. And the root node summarizes the entire build, which allows Blaze to quickly identify and isolate changes. Whenever a developer makes a commit to a file, the file's SHA-1 hash changes, which indicates to the build system that this file has to be rebuilt. There's two further optimizations that Blaze utilizes. The first is remote caching, in which Blaze stores build outputs and enables reuse in subsequent builds, which prevents redundant computations. And the second is remote execution, Blaze will offload build and test tasks to remote servers, which accelerates the build process by parallelizing workloads. But managing a monorepo at this scale isn't without its challenges. Due to the repository size, there needs to be cutting-edge infrastructure to store and serve efficiently. And in terms of build performance, Blaze addresses this using incremental builds and remote execution. Google's monorepo and Blaze build system are marvels of modern engineering designed to handle unprecedented scale and complexity. And together, they ensure that Google delivers reliable and cutting-edge services to billions around the globe. Thank you very much for joining, and if you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, drop them in the comments below. As always, thank you very much for watching, and happy coding!